Good morning, Cedar Park High School. It's Thursday, February 6th, and it's a B-Day. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Victor Martinez, in for Evan Vines. On today's show, we spotlight CPHS's award-winning academic UIL team. What's in store for this year's boys' soccer season? A new T-Wolf spotlight and our new TikTok of the Week segment. Let's jump in because the Wolfcast starts now. Many of you are familiar with our athletic and fine arts success. But this morning, Claire Mallet is highlighting another bright spot of student competition that doesn't always get much coverage. That's right, Victor. Here at Cedar Park, we have very successful academic UIL teams as well. Our social studies UIL team, for example, just won the most recent Invitational in Round Rock. I spoke with students about the program and the work that they've been putting in. With topics like the Civil Rights Movement or the Soviet Union previously covered in Social Studies UIL, Mr. Marsh, the captain of Social Studies UIL, shared what this year's topic is and how students are preparing for their competitions as well as what the competitions look like. This year um, our topic is East Asia, so students are researching countries in Asia like Japan, like China, like Mongolia. They're also reading a book about the history of Korea and they're also looking at key people, key places, key things. Um, and then the competitions themselves are, since it is academics, it is a test. So it is multiple choice questions and there is an essay as well. This is senior Erin Berry's third year in the program and the first that she's leading the team, which has been practicing all year. Um, we've been doing a lot of practice. Um, we have a book that we're required to read, so we've been discussing that and going over some of the information throughout the book. And then this semester we're going to focus on supplemental reading. We have a list of about 300 terms and countries that we have to know in depth. So we're going to do a lot of review on that this semester through a lot of different games and we have a timeline that we use. This 30 foot long timeline covers the history of Korea from 6000 BC to 2003. The program has taught Barry a lot and there's a clear reason why she's been on the team for the greater part of her high school experience. I'm really looking forward to the competitions and I know like a test sounds really boring but hopefully this year we'll be able to pull it together and dominate. I think the best part for me is getting a deeper understanding of cultures and people that normally I wouldn't really give a whole lot of thought to. Being forced to delve into a topic has really expanded my worldview and helped me understand where different people come from and why. While academic UILs are a great thing to become a part of, not many people participate, Marsh says. UIL in the arts or sports are better known, but academics offer many different options, from social studies to three different competitions in math. We don't really have that much buy-in into the UIL academics and it's not just social studies there's other competitions you know if you're passionate about science there's a science competition if you're passionate about math there's three different math competitions there's two different language arts competitions that we can compete in uh, there's an accounting if you're interested in accounting uh, for social studies not only do we have social studies itself but we have current issues and events which is basically just paying attention to the news um, I, I think the biggest problem is just trying to get people to, you know, join, be motivated, whatnot. We have, a, we have intelligent people here on this campus that are very passionate about certain things and, you know, if they would just take a couple, you know, a couple minutes of their time to help us and, and join our, our teams, we'll definitely be grateful. Congratulations to everyone who competed at the Round Rock Invitational. Also, be sure to look out for a link to a form about Academic UIL in your English Google Classrooms. If you have any questions about Social Studies UIL, go see Mr. Marsh in room 2015. Other academic UIL captains include Mrs. Martin, Mrs. Trueblood, Mrs. Hurt, and Mrs. Axed. Last year was an unforgettable year for boys soccer. After making it to the regional tournament, their first appearance since 2006, our Timberwolves were the underdogs going into every game in playoffs, making it all the way to the fourth round. With high hopes and a target on their head from every team in the district, the boys are preparing to come back better than ever. Well, first we started grinding all summer, and when we hit like gameplay, we started practicing a lot more, and then watching film over every game and like seeing what we can correct and all that. The boys play every Tuesday and Friday at 7:15. District has already started, and the boys are on another great playoff hunt. Good luck, boys. Coming up next are the top three things you need to know this morning. But first, a word from our sponsor. Smoky Moe's Barbecue, the best barbecue that money can buy. Proudly supporting Cedar Park High School. Good morning, Cedar Park. I'm Maddie Bates, and welcome back to your top three things. 
First, Trump's impeachment ended in acquittal yesterday in the Senate. However, Senator Mitt Romney shocked the nation by voting against Trump's acquittal, the only Republican to do so. Since then, Senator Romney has received both praise and some backlash by many members in the Republican Party. Donald Trump Jr. took to Twitter saying Romney should, quote, be expelled from the GOP, end quote. Next, former MLB player Pete Rose for, asked for MLB reinstatement after learning about the Astros sign-stealing scandal. Rose, who was banned from baseball due to betting in games in the 1990s, stated, quote, There cannot be one set of rules for Mr. Rose and then another for everyone else, end quote. And lastly, Tesla CEO Elon Musk hinted that at a Tesla factory coming to Austin. Not only did Musk post a poll titled Giga Texas, with Giga being short for Giga Factory, Musk also changed his Twitter locator to Austin temporarily. I had no idea that Tesla was looking to expand. That's yeah, that's I don't see. It's kind of bizarre because like we already have like a lot of companies moving exactly. to Austin, so like Apple another factory. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. it's crazy. Uh -huh. So I don't yeah. know. I mean, it'll bring like that kind of like opportunity for like mm -hmm. you know I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like moving to Austin. <laughs> they already are and everything. <laughs> but yeah. Thanks, Addy. Up next is a new T-Wolf spotlight. And Luke Johnson speaks to a theater student about their upcoming performance. But first, these announcements. Good morning CPHS, I'm Luke Johnson and welcome back to the T-Wolf Spotlight. This morning I'm joined by Junior John Courtright and he'll talk to us about theater. So John, uh, how did Gentleman's Guide go? So Gentleman's Guide went really well. It took place um, earlier this January and we were very excited with how it went. We sold out most of our performances. All the shows went really well, we were getting some really good reviews. So we were very proud of how that went. So what do you guys have coming up next? So coming up next, we have our UIL competition show um, called The Mental State. It is a story about this young Southern family who's having to deal with their son Andy, who's having some mental health issues and how are they gonna overcome that. It's a really powerful story about mental health. Wow, so when and where can you, uh, like when is it and where can you get this? So we actually have a public performance on March 10th. It is in completely free, it's gonna take place in the pack. And then our actual competition show taking place at Connolly High School is on March 12th. Well, do you have anything to add for the uh, CPHS students? Yeah. Um, we would really enjoy y'all to come out and see our Cedar Park Theater shows. We work really hard on them, and it really means a lot when we have a big audience to, or to have support us. So. All right. Well, thanks, John. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all we have for the Two Wolf Spotlight with CPHS News. I'm Luke Johnson. Thanks, Luke. It's now time for our new segment, TikTok of the Week. In this segment, we will feature one TikTok from one of our very own CPHS students every Thursday. This week's TikTok comes from Junior Preston Scott. I found your vibe, and I, and I found my high, yeah. Let's touch the sky, I'ma, I'ma change your life, yeah. I don't really love her, yeah. I might have to double, yeah. Dripping in my jealous. Thanks, Preston. To be featured on TikTok of the Week, submit your TikTok on our Google form. You can find it in our Insta bio or on our Twitter at CPHS News. And that's all I have for today. Remember, you can catch anything you missed on today's show on our YouTube channel. Just search CPHS News. And make sure to catch the Wolfcast tomorrow for a story over Get Your Rear in Gear Colon Cancer Walk, a new segment, Weekend Destinations, a sports report, and your top three things. With CPHS News, I'm Ellen Young. I'm Claire Mallet. I'm Maddie Bates. And I'm Victor Martinez. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a phenomenal day, Cedar Park.